Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, a full-time dentist. You have selected this video because you want to learn about the difference between abrasion, attrition, abstraction, and finally erosion. Before we continue, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below. Starting with what is attrition, it is defined as loss of tooth structure due to tooth-to-tooth -to -tooth contact. From its name, attrition, it has two teeth, so tooth-to-tooth uh, -tooth contact. The most common causes behind it is stress and anger, causing too much pressure on your teeth, leading to some condition called proxism or teeth grinding. And the treatment is we need to reduce that grinding by placing a night guard at night, or defined as occlusal guard because it will be placed on the occlusal surface of the teeth, or splint as well. Next is aberration, which is defined as loss of tooth structure due to abnormal mechanical means. The causes behind it is brushing horizontally or brushing very hard on your teeth or fingernail biting. So the treatment in this case, we need to educate the patient to not uh, brush very hard and to use a very soft toothbrush. And you can see my uh, previous videos about which toothbrush you need to purchase, which uh, uh, brushing technique and uh, etc. Next is abfraction, which is defined as loss of tooth structure due to abnormal mechanical stresses, not means like abrasion. The cause is similar to the attrition which is stress and anger leading to proxism so the treatment as well the same thing is occlusal splint and to cover up the exposed areas by composite and you can place a desensitizer as well on the exposed uh, root so that you reduce the uh, hypersensitivity for your patients how can you differentiate between abrasion and abfraction? In abfraction, you will have a V-shaped groove. In comparison with abrasion, which you can see, it is uh, very normal with no any uh, V-shapes and etc. Next is erosion, which is defined as loss of tooth structure due to chemical means, not mechanical, like abrasion or abfraction. We have two types of erosion, extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic, it appears facially or buccally, and the cause is drinking acidic drinks or eating acidic food, like lemon drinking, uh, like eating a lemon or putting a lemon on your uh, teeth, which will uh, definitely cause erosion. Or if you drink too much Coca Cola, Pepsi, etc., all these are acidic drinks that finally you'll end up having erosion. Your teeth will be eaten down or wear away. Whereas intrinsic dental erosion, it appears lingually or palatally. Most properly, you will see it uh, lingually on the lower incisors. The cause behind it is bulmi nervosa or dirt, which is defined as gastroesophageal reflex disorder, in which you will have a stomach disorder, which makes you keep on vomiting. Now, if you have a patient in your clinic that he is about, like he's very young, that is 30, 35, 25, etc., like 20 to 30 years, okay, and you see that his teeth, his uh, upper anterior uh, or lower anterior are abnormal, uh, maybe you need to ask him that, if, are you having any stomach disorder? Like, what do I mean by stomach disorder? Do you vomit? That's what I mean. Thank you all for watching my video, don't forget to press the like button if you like my video and uh, smash the subscribe button down below in order to encourage me to do more videos. If you want me to do any video that I did not do or I might forgot it, then you can write it down in the comment section below. Goodbye now!